Hey guys, lots of you have been asking for more of the testing makeup videos and I'm really enjoying filming them so I thought I would do another one. However, I wanted to try and do one that I haven't seen anybody do yet, which let me tell you was quite a challenge. But I'm pretty sure as of right now when I'm filming this, no one has done a testing Barry M makeup video. I might be wrong, don't count me on it. So I was thinking, well, why, why are we leaving Barry out? Like, <laughs> I feel like Barry M makeup really reminds me of my like younger years. It was the first sort of makeup brand that I used to wear when I was probably 13, 14 and I just thought it would be fun to test it out now and see if it's actually any good because I can't remember. As always, there's always one, always one with these videos that I can't actually find and I couldn't find a foundation so I'm going to have to use my own. I know it's so annoying but not my fault blame Baza. So obviously I'm not going to talk too much about this as always because it's not part of the video. Okay so that's my foundation done and the first Barry M product I have to try is this Flawless Light Reflecting Concealer. Looks like this. I got this in the shade number one which I believe is the lightest one. It says it has cucumber in it and I like cucumber. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was expecting one of those sponge things that you like use dofa a dofa applicator but it's like a oh it's kind of like a nail polish brush so i'm just gonna pop a bit of this under my eyes check me with my triangles i'm just gonna do it a bit around my nose i think i'm just gonna use my finger to blend it out and see how it goes it's very um blendy it's not very thick that's that's the word it's quite thin it's a very thin consistency i actually think that looks really good under my eyes it's definitely made them look brighter and just a bit more awake i'm not sure how well it would work on blemishes i think it's a little bit too sort of brightening and highlighting for using on blemishes but it does work really well under your eyes okay so the next product i've got is the barry m afterglow light bronzer which let me tell you is a big ass bronzer it's a kind of shimmery one yeah it's got a bit of like gold shimmer in it i actually really really like it so it's quite like a warm toned bronzer so you wouldn't want to use it to contour i've learned that from doing these videos like people telling me you can't use bronzer to contour like i'm learning so much through doing these eyeball through doing these makeup videos <laughs> thanks to you guys you're teaching me well so i'm just sort of using it all over instead of to contour with so yeah that is the bronzer i think it actually works so well it's such a nice like subtle shimmery bronzy color and it's just sort of made me look a little bit more tanned which i'm all about so oh. <laughs> just smacked my my ball thing i like it i like it a lot now for blush i've got the barry m make me blush powder in the shade i'll have a look into it and i will leave it in the description box but <clears throat> it's basically a nice little pinky colour. I'm not sure it's really doing anything. Oh no, it kind of is. I thought it was matte, but my cheek, sh sh my cheek, my cheek looks a bit shimmery, but that might just be from the bronzer still. So there we go. There is my face done. I didn't get a highlighter because there wasn't one. However, I have bought something that I'm going to try and highlight with. It's not going to go well, I'm sure, but I'm going to wait till the end for that because it's going to get messy. So for now, I'm going to move away from my face and give these guys a little go. <sighs> You're up next, boys. Like a rattle in there. Is there a ball inside? So this is the Barry M It's a Brow Thing Shape and Define Brow Powder in the shade Light. I have no idea what this is going to be like. A brow powder. Oh. <laughs> it's got a little like nub end on it. I don't know what to call that, a little nub. Oh, it's very brown. This is the lightest one they had, so I'm gonna try. But as always, I'm probably gonna have really dark eyebrows. But that is becoming a running theme in these videos. <laughs> I don't even know how to use it. It's just... It's just like a little stick. Oh, yeah, it comes out really like, whoa, hello. It is coming out. I thought it was going to be a lot more subtle than that. That's quite a long eyebrow I've got there. <laughs> a bit of a droopy one. Do you know what? It is actually quite cool. It's like, it's like a powder, isn't it? On a stick. I've never seen anything like it before, actually. You've just got your powder already on here. You don't have to go like shush you don't have to go dunking it in anything you're just ready to go obviously the color is way too dark but like i said that's all we've got there we go that is the best i can do i actually quite like it as a product i think it works pretty well and it's just something a bit different really i haven't done the best job but i never really do with my eyebrows now i'm going to move on to my eyeballs these and i've got one of the products that reminds me so much of when i was younger i've got a barry m dazzle dust <sighs> does that not take you back guys <laughs> and it's just basically some dust <laughs> it's basically a little pot of eyeshadow this one is quite a nice color it's in the shade oh no oh no it fell on my banana and i just dropped the lid that way on my banana so now i've got 
dazzle dust with banana. It doesn't actually say the shade on it, it says shade 105, but I'm pretty sure it had a name, so again, it'll be in the description box. But it's a kind of pale pink, nudey, shimmery colour, I'd say, something like that. It's so soft, like, oh, that was like putting my finger in something nice. <laughs> it felt really nice, like a little cloud. <gasps> Wowza. You only need a little bit and you're good to go. Like, oh my goodness. It's so shimmery. It's like metallic almost. I'm kind of digging it. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know if I should have got an eyeshadow brush to do this. I'm just kind of fingering it. Yeah. To be honest, it doesn't actually fall out that much as well. I thought it would be going all over my face, but as soon as it gets on the eyelid, it's staying there. It's not falling out. Every it has a little bit now, okay. But it's a lot um less messy than I thought. I don't know how well it's shown up on camera, but it is so like shimmery and pretty. It's such a nice colour. Next, I have something that's probably going to ruin all of that, but we're gonna do it anyway. I've got the Barry M I Define Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's waterproof. Does that mean it's gonna be a bitch to get off? Probably. This is in the shade Super Gloss Black. This will forever be my worst part of doing my makeup. <laughs> What is that? Oh, it's not easy to use. It's um, very floppy. <laughs> so like when I put it on there, it's just like flopping all over the place and spreading its residue. Poor, oh, it's pongy as. It smells toxic. <laughs> it does not wipe off at all. <laughs> I'm making an absolute mess of this. And it's making me quite sad because I wanted this makeup to actually look all right. <laughs> fat chance of that happening. Oh, it's just growing. That is a really big flick. I'm afraid I would not recommend this one unless you are insanely good at eyeliner because it's just not easy to work with at all. I'm trying really hard not to blink because it is wet as. Wet as. But yeah, those are my eyeliner flicks. They're huge, but we got there in the end. This is the product at the packaging. It's just, it's just so cute. I still can't blink, so excuse the very odd face. <laughs> extra volume black mascara, showgirl, extra volume black mascara, it says it twice. <laughs> Quite a big boy. It's mascara face time. Yeah, it's just not doing a huge amount, but I want long eyelashes. What, what am I gonna do? Huh? Barry? Huh? <laughs> what am I gonna do? If you like the natural mascara look, then I think you'd really like this. I much prefer quite long, thick eyelashes, so it's not for me. Okay, so for the highlight, I thought it would be really fun to try and do like a glitter highlight thing. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit scared that this is gonna go everywhere, but I decided to get the Barry M Fine Glitter Dust. Again, don't know what the color is, but it's a kind of iridescent, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, it's an iridescent gold colour and it's so glittery and it's basically like the Dazzle Dust but it's a lot more glittery and particle-y. I don't know how well it's going to stick. Wow, cool. It is so pretty, like this would look so cool at a festival. I mean, it's, we're a bit out of festival season now but for next year <laughs> or just if you're going out, I mean, I think highlight like this looks so cool. Look at it. So excited. <laughs> I can't stop putting it on. I think that's plenty, but it's oh, check that. <laughs> Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Probably not. <coughs> I think I've swallowed some. <laughs> I don't want to ever take it off. I feel like a unicorn. As always, I'm probably putting it in the wrong place. Like I'm just not. I don't really know where highlight's supposed to go, but I figured this was the this was kind of like the general direction that it's meant to go in, but I think I've probably brought it down too far and it's sort of under my eye, which is wrong. If you put it in the right place, how fab would you look? I can't stop looking at it. I really hope the camera's picking it up. Okay, so the final thing I have is a lipstick. The packaging of this is really nice as well. It feels really sturdy. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's got that like feel to it. It's kind of like a matte packaging. It just feels a lot more expensive than it was. So this is the Barry M lipstick in the shade 155 and it's just like a really pretty pink color it's a very like bright barbie pink i thought it was going to be a lot more natural i suppose it kind of goes with the look that i've done though because it's very like hoo -hoo, and sort of festivally and bright and colorful and sparkly so it kind of works but i would not wear this lipstick out formula wise it works well it's a matte lipstick and in the end it went on quite well. Oh, I've got glitter. Okay, so that is the finished makeup look. The concealer for under my eyes I really liked. Something stinging a lot. Uh oh, probably got glitter in my eyeball. The bronzer and blush worked really well. They're nice and natural, give you like a pretty little bit of colour over there. Yay. The eyebrow product was really cool. I think it worked really well. Uh, I love the eyeshadow. I feel like 
I've found my love for Dazzle Dusts again and I want to buy them all because it's so cool. The eyeliner eventually, you know, it does the job, it's just really tricky to use. Mascara doesn't really do too much but again would be good for a natural look. The glitter makes a super cool highlight if you're going for a fancy look. And the lipstick, the formula is all good but the colour wasn't really for me. Is that everything? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I've got one more sort of makeup y video coming up, so keep your eyes peeled for that. It will be coming soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I've already said that. I've just realised that I have numb feet. It's not comfortable. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.